There is no place where your words cannot be heard. This was a valuable lesson I learned many, many years ago from Mrs. Marlene Evans. She taught me this verse, Ecclesiastes 10.20, and she really emphasized it in a class and said, we've got to be aware that there's nothing you can that you can say that can't be heard by another. And I thought that that was really a different thought for me because I thought I could whisper or, you know, I thought I could tell somebody over the phone or I could, you know, I, I thought I could say something, maybe things that I shouldn't say. You know, we all say things we shouldn't say, but we got to realize that every single word that we say can be heard. Um, in Ecclesiastes 10.20 says, Curse not the king, Know not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been talking about something in a restaurant, and all of a sudden you looked around and saw somebody you knew, and you thought, did they hear me? Have you ever been talking to somebody in church and not notice somebody else walks up to you, and you've been talking about something you shouldn't have talked about? That's what that's talking about. You know, it seems like even a bird, something will carry that your voice or carry those words to another person. I know last year very vividly, nobody in my family knows this happens, happened, and I won't tell them who, who did it or anything, but I was sitting on my, uh, sitting in a chair in my rig, and somebody um, texted me about uh, some materials I was supposed to send to them. And I know I'd sent them, and they never got them. It was one of those kind of situations. I was still working with them on that. And and one of my family members, unbeknownst, you know, I didn't know that they were going to say it, and she didn't know. My phone was sitting on my lap. I had just texted that person, and that family member said, well, she probably has it at her house somewhere and just doesn't know it's there, which that person could take as criticism. Don't you agree? I mean, would you want somebody to say after you said you couldn't, something never came, that um, somebody say, yeah, she's probably got it, she just can't find it, you know, that would be a criticism. Well, I looked down, and my phone was recording uh, that, like a voice message, you know how you can send voice messages over your phone instead of a text? And before I could even pick the phone up, it sent it. I, I know, I don't believe it either. I, I don't know how it happened. I didn't. I didn't do it. I, 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 I know I didn't do it. Anyway, so, boy, I thought, what was that? And I thought, what th was that recording? And so that I pushed what I just sent to that person, and I, I listened to it, and it was that comment that that family member had said. And I thought, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, this is, you know, I just was horrified. Can I just tell you, I was horrified. Well, I thought, now one thing that happens to me sometimes <laughs> is when I get a lot of texts from somebody, you know, at the same time, they, the, that one gets moved up and I lose it. So I have to be honest with you, ladies. <laughs> I usually try to be honest. And I just started texting more to that person, different questions, different things, you know, and to move that up so just in case she wouldn't wouldn't see it. Now, I've never heard from her that she heard it. You know, I don't know that I know her that well that she would feel like she could uh, call me out on it. But I'm just saying to you, we've got to be careful what we say. Especially in this day of technology, there's no place where you can't be heard. Luke 12, 2 and 3 says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in the darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear and closet shall be proclaimed, proclaimed upon the housetops. Hey, we better be careful what we're saying, because there's no place where your words cannot be heard. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.